Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Chris. Welcome to another Plants vs. Zombies video. I don't have any idea. I have no idea, rather, of what the fuck I'm going to do in this video. It is Plants vs. Zombies Sunday, and I don't think I'm going to make three videos, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to make at least two. Let me grab my phone. Set a fucking timer so I have a sense of what the fuck I'm doing and how long I've been doing it for. Man, it feels good to be out of work for the day. Alright. Um, so let's look at some of this stuff. Alright, we're, <laughs> we're gonna start working on mini games. Let's go, bitches. Shit. This is gonna be very bad very quickly. Whoa! Oh shit, he's gonna get through already? Okay, never mind. I was very befuddled there. Alright, let's go ahead and set these bitches up before I pull another another Chris and uh, royally fuck this shit up. We should break him from the back. Alright. Let this dude go. Who is he gonna fight? He's gonna fight Jack in the Box dude. This turned out to be easier than expected. I shouldn't say that yet, but there we go. Oh, it's, that's fucking cake right there. Woo! This guy's gonna take a sweet fucking time dying though, because, oh, okay. I'm glad the game decided to take the initiative on that one. He's already turned around. He's not gonna pose any threats. M for metal. What do we got here? Oh, shit. Oh, this is stupid on my part. Whoa! Alright, let's take him out. Let's take him out too. At the very least. Damn it, they're gonna eat. Aw, oh, man, I gotta do something. Hopefully. Oh shit. Uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the way. Okay, that worked out. Hopefully, this guy does the trick. We'll go ahead. That's fucked up. You guys aren't going nowhere. All right, let's go ahead and start setting up at the back. This shit's fucking, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, son. Oh, that would have been bad. All right, slow that bitch down. Take his helmet off. All right, this is cake. Let's just open them all up. Oh, that was bullshit. Oh, there he goes. Ah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Man, I am excited as hell. Uh, basically today... Alright, I guess I should go into a little bit of a backstory on this. Oh, one second, I'm going to take my headset off. I need to go put something in the fridge. Stuck it, sorry, sorry. Alright, I'm back. Damn it, I hate when I leave stuff out. What if I get to put it in the fridge? Alright. So a little bit of backstory I was talking about is uh, if any of you guys know the game Shining Force uh, that was on uh, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Saturn, and a couple other systems, but it was a fucking amazing game and um, did not, in my personal opinion, it didn't, did not get enough exposure and um, just a completely underrated amazing game and uh, oh shit. Aw, oh, damn it. Ah, uh, that's what I get. Ah. Uh. Alright, let's try this again. I know he's gonna eat my brains. I'm gonna scream like a little biatch. Ah, uh, damn it, Chris. Alright, anyways. Shiny Force. It was an amazing game on, um... Sega Genesis and uh, Sega Saturn in particular. This is what I wanted to talk about. And uh, Sega Saturn, um, they didn't bring Shining Force out on the Sega Genesis. Oh shit. It's gonna get bad quick. Aw, oh, damn it. This is a nightmare already. They're gonna eat through that thing in a heartbeat. Oh god. What am I doing? This is awful. I'm gonna get fucked again. Okay, I need to fucking concentrate. What am I doing here? Because I'm trying to tell you guys about the game I want to talk about, but I keep fucking it up. Anyways, Shiny Force. 
So, um, Shining Force 3 no! was a game for Sega Saturn, and it came out, um, there was, there was three scenarios for the game, and only one of them was released in America, uh, Scenario 1, and Scenario 2 and 3 went without, um, being seen in the States, which is a damn shame. So, um, so I, uh, I decided to buy, uh, a Japanese Sega Saturn. There's no way he gets to this. Okay. I decided to buy a Japanese Sega Saturn and a Shiny Force 1, 2, or episode, uh, Shiny Force 3, episode 1, 2, and 3, uh, for the Japanese Sega Saturn. Hopefully we get through this dude. Okay, I need to, there we go. So I decided to buy all three of those games, and, um, it's looking like a pretty fucking awesome choice. Uh, I'll get the Sega Saturn in the mail, uh, maybe tomorrow? It depends on if I'm lucky with my schedule, but I could be very unlucky. Okay, I need to get some guys on him. I could be very unlucky and, uh, not get it for a few more days, but regardless, it's, uh, it's coming soon. There we go. Regardless, it's coming pretty soon. So it should be pretty fucking awesome. I just realized there's nobody down here to attack him except for this douchebag. Anyways, so yeah, I got all three, all three of those, uh, scenarios. So basically the full game, uh, coming in a day or so. Oh yeah, I gotta break these. And, um, I'm really, really excited about it. Because, uh, I've been wanting to play those games for years, like, decades actually. And, um, almost two decades. Maybe not quite that long, but at least a decade and a half. And, um, I've never had the means to do it. But now that I can read quite a bit of Japanese, and there's a bunch of guides on the internet available, just in case you cannot, um, read enough Japanese to follow through. And, um, I'm really, man, I can't fucking wait. That's going to be an amazing game. All right, but I need to concentrate a little more closely on the task at hand here, which is to not die again. Can I please get something? God damn it. These things aren't going to kill him. Whoops, that was a mistake. That's also a mistake. That'll do it, but, um, I'm going to save that. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Alright, I need to... Shit. This is not good. I'll just replace this as soon as this guy goes, and I'll try to figure out something. Alright, I need to get another squash. Come on. I guess I can get another one of them. And then break everything on the bottom and try my luck. Bingo. Oh, is he not going to die? Okay. I need to make sure they die, though. Oh, matter of fact, they're not going to die. Maybe not. Maybe they are. Oh, that's unfortunate. Seriously? Ah. Damn this game sometimes. A little zombie has like one hit point left. And he's going to walk in with one arm. Like, barely, barely creeping along and eat my brains. I don't think so. Anyways, yeah, I'm really excited. Like, I've never owned a Sega Saturn. At least I don't think I have. And, um, I'm really excited to see what I've been missing out on. Man, I'm excited, like, for real. So that should be a lot of fun. Alright, I'm just gonna try to space these out a little more evenly. Ah. Shit. Oh, shit! I let that card go. Ah, oh, damn it. Totally forgot about that. All right. I need some work up here. Some more work down here. Ah, oh, shit. I should have saved this. They should kill these guys. Jesus. Please. Put that there. All right. So far, so good. That was a waste. Realize that that was a waste. Kill him. Okay. Oh, shit. Another squash, please. Oh, I got an idea. Put that there. And they should hold him in place. And then um, I'll replace him with the other one. I should have this. Alright. So, no chances. I'm just clicking right here. But also, that will... Um, I can buy a 4M... Like action replay thing from PlayAsia.com, 
And if I if I use that, I can have my Japanese um, Sega Saturn play like um, international games too. So I can play. I can also buy some of the English games I've been wanting to play. Like um, they have like a game called Guardian Heroes, which is like a, a beat 'em up, and it's uh, supposedly the best beat 'em up that's ever been made. And from what I've seen, it's pretty goddamn awesome. As well as Panzer uh, Panzer Dragoon. Oh, let me speak English real quick. Okay, Panzer Dragoon Saga, which is supposedly one of the best role-playing games ever made, and it's just a lot of fucking a lot of stuff I missed out on that I'm gonna get into. And it only cost me um. To get even just Shining Force in a, an American Sega Saturn would have cost me well over 100 bucks, but I managed to pick up the Saturn itself and those three versions of uh, Shining Force for like 80 bucks, which is I bought it on Amazon.co.jp, which is pretty convenient because it gets to me in like a day, as opposed to regular Amazon uh, actually fights me like tooth and nail for every time I want to buy something, because a lot of a lot of stuff won't even ship to my uh, to my address. Like video games and stuff like that. Oh, please tell me you're gonna kill him. Oh my god. That was pretty. Pretty hairy situation. No, you cock smoking motherfucker. Alright. Bitches. Well, you go ahead and try to hop over that, you faggot. Can you hop over that? Okay. I was like, wait a second, my bravado is going to be all for naught. Oh shit, okay. Go ahead and line these down here, up here. Shit. Bitches, everybody's fucked. You done, son? Give me that, give me that money. Anyways, yeah, I'm excited as hell. I don't know how many times I've said that, but um, pretty stoked. It's gonna be awesome. Ace of Vase. That's so creative. Well, let's go. Oh, Jesus! All right. Well, okay. Walk forward a little bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need something to combat this. This is not good. This is going to be a disaster. God, please. What is this for? Oh, Jesus. Alright, well... So far... Well, it's not good, but... Matter of fact, we're screwed. Please, kill 